Hi Bruce from Safari and we're in front of this Isuzu. We've just done a lot of work to it. We're going to meet here Glenn and Amanda and they're traveling around the world in this. But before we do that, uh, we're just going to show you what we did. We've got a 48 volt in here and uh, we've got some solar controllers. We've got a Scotty in here. And then underneath here, we have our new solid state lithium batteries. These are 48 volt. Between these four here, there's just short of 11,000 watt hours. And you can see the dirt and the muddle over that. These will all run uh, comfortably IP65, even 67. All the data cables are all sealed. I think these are the safest batteries in the world. That's a big statement. Meet Glenn and Amanda. How are you guys today? Good, Good thank thanks. you. Now, Glenn, you've got to tell me your story. It's like a dream come true, this, isn't it? <laughs> it is, very much. We've, yeah, we'd say we're traveling around the world. We're about to ship the truck to America and, and want to drive up to the Arctic Ocean and and then down through, back through Canada, America, and Mexico. The idea with the, this upgrade was because, A, we're going to a different voltage with the states, and also we're going up so far north that the solar is not going to be as, as beneficial as it is here in Australia. So we wanted to have a system that was going to be able to be self-sufficient and drive itself effectively, hence the extra high-powered alternator and the bigger batteries. Excellent, now Amanda? Mm -hmm. Why have you put so much power into this truck? Well, a girl's got to have a hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist that. Yeah. Um, no, back in New Zealand, we had our first wheel that we lived full time in, and that had a 48 volt system. So we're well aware of how to microwave, electric kettle, and we have an electric barbecue. So to be able to run all of those, you need the power. And that's excellent. And one thing I just thought of, the solid state batteries here will go down to minus five to charge, minus 20 to discharge. Oh Excellent. And the BMS will handle all that. Yep. Now, we also put in here our star tank. Yes. All the best for your trip. I'm okay. going to go inside now and have a look at the screen. Cool. Thank you. Now, I've got to tell everyone I love this truck. We have our pick trucks, and uh, this is by AAV, and it's a shout-out to them. They've done an excellent job here, just superb. Uh, let's have a look at the screen up here, and I'm going to go to the levels. There's the tanks, and what we're comparing here, that's the star tank one. That's the resistance level one. There is a little bit of water in the grey. Uh, the resistance won't pick it up because it doesn't go all the way to the bottom for a start. So we've got the batteries, we've got the fuel, 47%, fresh water, 45%, the waste water, 7 That you can see there, no solar. It's late in the afternoon here now. What I'm going to show everyone, the incredible thing on the solid state lithium. So we've had this running. Here's the battery at the top. There's a page here called details. Rare to see this page in a battery. And now we're having a look here this is now beautiful. It's been on charge. One millivolt difference between the lower cell, which is cell 15, and cell 6 is at the highest. Four batteries are online, none offline. Number blocking charge, discharge, none. And the uh, installed capacity here is 215, and that's at uh, 54 volts and there's 150 less because of the state of charge. Um, while we're in here, they've got a crawl through. And I love the sign up here. They're not alcoholics. Um, they go to meetings. We're drunks. We go camping. Um, very, very nice. I'm not trying to invade on their privacy, but it's very nicely done with the bed here. How good is that? 